gather round, children, and I'll tell you a tale about a cowboy magic that never fails. That's right. I saw a man one day on the other side of the battlefield. I don't know. Did he bring it with him? Is it in his list? He'll tell me so. Was he holding up a counterspell? You know I didn't know. But if he was, I'd make him have to tell me so. Cause we're talking about cowboy magic. And the times you make them have it. Turns out he did. I didn't know what I'd do. My primo spells in my bin. Nothing's getting through. Now is he playing Seinfeld? Is he taking extra turns? Well, it hurts. Cause you know I'm sitting here playing, playing bird and I know that. Now we're talking about cowboy magic. And the times it made them have it. I don't know what to do. Do I play my bolt? Will it get through? I'm holding the fire blast and I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll do something to you. Here we go. One thing on the field. Birds of paradise holding the sword. But I'll never yield, cause we're, cause we're talking about cowboy magic, and the times you made them happy, blue green, tell me, counter spells and things, well, how many championship rings do you have, cause I'm sitting here, and I know, I know you don't have it. Telling you, no, you don't have it. In comes a bird with a sword and a GTA. And I'm talking about cowboy magic. And the times I made you have it. And I'm talking about cowboy magic. And the times you made me have it. He was holding berserk, no counter spell. Cause he had it. Through the fog he crashes, charging on his steed. The town folks call him Wheeler. Trumpet blast announce his deed. The old man took the ice cream and his fortune was foretold. He unleashed the beast within to conquer the black mold. And from his hands he called the lightning from the sky. To crack ten thousand eggs and spellbound till you die. He built his graveyard like a heretical healer. The devil Benjamin, the donkey And 
seven cards in his hand. He was running eight lands with no shame. With his five color shell, he could name every spell from Alpha to Eldraine. Platters, and the spells hardly mattered when he resolved mana drain. The premier lands player, and no one was gayer, and Wheeler was his name. They call him Wheeler. They call him Wheeler, Cowboy Magic was his game. They call him Wheeler, they call him Wheeler, they call him Wheeler, that's his name. They call him No, I'm not muted. I just had uh, the wrong... Look, this is a brand new setup. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Brand new setup. Brand new setup. I got the new whip. And uh, certain things were on. Uh, I have to remap my entire GoXLR and everything. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Actually, with that in mind, uh, I should probably adjust this. Welcome, everybody, to the uh, stream. Mimi Wheeler, glad to have you. Good to see you. Um, I would like to do some more Vintage Cube. I would like to do some more Vintage Cube, if that's okay. We did a bonus stream. We did earlier today, I did some secret filming and then we had a bonus stream uh, where Adam and I did cube. Nelson was not available, but we are planning on doing another one with Nelson. Lord of Cinder. Oh, are you gonna double? You gonna double the notification? Is this what's gonna happen? I need to figure out how to do here. Excel looking fire. Yeah. I mean, I could, we could play some Elden Ring or some Street Fighter instead, but Cube felt like the easiest one to do. Um, yeah. Eggs, eggs, e -G uh, before I get into that, I gotta say thank you to Dr. Strange All for the 45th month. Welcome back. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? And Fruan for the eighth month. How you doing? What up? Glad to have you. And Mizu Sun for the second month. Holy smokes. Cowboy Magic on my Saturday evening, more likely than you think. Uh, and Mr. Bibbs for the 31st month. Adam learning about new to him cards is the best. Honestly, the streams, added, I mean, look, having Nelson there, also great. I gotta be, I gotta be clear. The whole group, getting the whole band together is great. But Adam and I have a very specific energy dynamic that I think tends to work really well for spots like that. Uh, to so far, like it works so well that I'm going to showcase if you didn't watch the stream, this more or less summarizes how, how this went. Why are you cut off? Oh, our, our, no, 
Oh no! Wait, oh no. There we go. I think that should be fine. Again, new setup. Gotta learn it. Um, this is what happened. Check, check out. Check out. Check, check out. I'm fucking tired. Check this out. Yeah. Uh, so here I'm actually going to talisman because they're going to enlighten tutor and then we're going to get to thought scour the tutor target. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, another one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gives me conniptions. Yeah, see? They got survival. <sighs> Boom. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Uh, M. Malik, thank you for gifting a sub to the community. It also went to Farley. Gall light mode, two things. One, don't complain about light mode to me on here. Take that shit to Reddit. Two, I do normally use dark mode, but again, brand new computer, brand new computer. Still got to get all the fine, fine tuning done here. Uh, Circus of Kirkus back for the 55th month. The rest is still in written. I listened to Natasha Bedingfield on my walk uh, home. It, uh, yeah, it was great. Uh... Thank you for the support. And all the weasels back for the 47th month as well. The stream today was so good. Yeah, I'm glad people liked it. It's always fun. We're getting, we're, we're probably uh, going to do another one uh, later in the week. Um, yeah, I'm going to do another one. I didn't get the Enchant Worldle and Spellify set up. Full disclosure, the stream is later than I usually uh, go. And uh, so... <laughs> It might be a little chunky. A regular event. Oh, for sure. It's going to be a regular event. Um, let's turn this on. The folks that watch the VODs seem to like the Enchant Wordle. So, we'll give them what they ask for. I will say this, though. Eggs, uh, Enchant Wordle, not in dark mode, is genuinely getting to me. There we go. Uh, Rami, welcome back for the 56th month as well. How are you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you for the support. One mana rare that is not an enchantment nor a creature that could be black or green. How about Thoughtseize? Oh, it's from 2000. A zero mana from 2007? Not with black in it? Zero mit. Oh, so it's going to be a land? Or it could be Summoner's Pact. So it is a zero mana rare from Future Sight. Oh, Grove of the Burn Willows? Nope. Uh, Horizon Canopy. There we go. <clears throat> cool. Got there. Gap there. Gap there. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Cool cards. Cool cards. Uh, all right, on to, on to Spellify. Oh, it's a black creature. A single, a one drop black creature with one, is that one word or two words? Apostrophe. One black creature that has a bunch of letters. <laughs> bunch of letters. Of course it has letters. Um, oh, is it Gravecrawler? Because this says Gravecrawler can't block. You may cast Gravecrawler from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool to find a second game I'm the goat at, you know? Just having one of them wasn't enough. <clears throat> Just having one was not enough. <laughs> Great. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's do some cube. Let's play some cube. Oh, yeah, because I fresh installation of Magic Online. So we get the pop out card. The sounds were on here before. Ooh, it's great. Um, okay, we get a channel. We could start a channel draft. We might wheel the Ulamog. This pack's pretty weak. Um, yeah, not super exciting. I don't really want to take something like Green Sun over channel or Dak Faden. Um, there's no like duels you could pick up. Yeah, I'm going to take this channel. I haven't drafted a channel deck in a while. Oh, well. Hmm. So we have Fury and we have Grief. Uh, both quite good. Both of them not super strong with channel. Um, but that's fine. Could also take a Verdant Catacombs. <sighs> These cards are just more powerful. Channel and Fury could go in the same deck. I like Fury more than Grief. Um, so I'm thinking of taking this Fury. It's a shame that we're passing this Verdant Catacombs. There's also Urza. Urza's pretty good. Urza does tend to go in the channel decks. I mean, I could do that. We could, we could take, so we could take the Urza. I don't know. Do I want to draft like a real deck? I drafted a real deck last time. I'm going to take this Urza. Oh, yeah. Birds of Paradise. I like birds more than Jace. More than Lorien Revealed. Bop is pretty good. Bop accelerates into Urza. Let's just cast our channel. I'll take Bop. Big fan of Bop. It's a fun card to put in an Ashling the Pilgrim deck. Oh. Um... Does Ashling deal it to everyone? It's been, I, I'm familiar with the... No, not Ash. Deals that much damage to each creature in each player. Mm, is There's got to be in a kind of aura that says, like, whenever a creature deals damage to a player. Whenever deal damage... Uh, enchantment. I mean, Jace is really good. But birds, I, I really like the Birds of Paradise decks. That's combat damage. That's combat damage. No, I don't want combat. Minus Oracle combat. Uh, could take a force negation. Passing a Lelia. God, we could have had Fury and Lelia. Could have Court. Force negation tends to go well with these kind of decks, though. Like we get out our big idiot, and then we can force for backup. We could channel, or sorry, we could bird for the court. I'm gonna take the force. Uh. Volcanic Island, Nissa. I mean, Sylvan Library. We could take Sylvan Library. There's Stern Scolding. I guess I'm not drafting like a good deck. I'm drafting a very specific deck. Ooh. Well, there we go. There's our channel. There's a channel card. Hard <clears throat> mm. attacks. I don't care about attacking. What am I looking for here? Chain Creature Attacks. I want like deal damage that gets around like give me like an old school kind of wording of whenever this creature deals damage Ashling doesn't uh to each creature each player you could play um blazing sun steel that's kind of exciting. Ooh, Sentinel's not that bad. Sentinel's good with Urza. Sentinel's good with birds. Honestly, not the worst with Channel. Blazing Sunsteel. <clears throat> yeah, 
let me put it in. How'd the Minskin Boo deck go? Uh, we went 3 0. Woodfall Primus. <laughs> Channel Hanger Back Walker. Woodfall Primus, Primus is kind of funny. Uh, I think I'm going to take the hanger back. Oh, the sprites in here. That's kind of cool. Channel Dark Depths. What do you do? Could take Beseju. I mean, do we see any lands cards? Not really. Could take this Dark Depths. I'm going to play this Beseju, though. Ooh. Elvish Mystic or Hedge Maze? I kind of want Hedge Maze more than the, the mono green one. I think Botanical Sanctum. Uh, I don't know. We might end up playing black or white. Commercial District's really good, but I think I'm taking this Waterlogged Grove. Okay, this deck's not super exciting. That Ulamog didn't come around, but that's okay. People like Ulamog. Pay 30 life, make it 20, 20. It's great because if they swords us, then we'll gain some of that life back. How does everybody feel about this temporary camera angle? I find it to be uh, not flattering in the slightest, but reminiscent of when we started streaming. Because I don't have, I, oh, there's a time walk. That's pretty good. Um, I, I don't have my, my setup yet. I need to get a new desk because I have, so I now have a 27 inch monitor as my main. And then I have a 20, I'm going to have two 24 inch monitors um, of which I only have one set up right now. But I, I guess if my posture is okay, then it's fine. But I don't know. Sometimes I like to lay back in the cut. Got to take time walk. We are in blue green. Blue green's pretty good with time walk. Um, there's a Caracas. Ooh, a forensic gadgeteer. There's also Narset. There's Generous N. I think I want this Caracas. Eggs, eggs, e there's Inti. Man, we could have had a good, boring red X deck. But I'm going to take this Crick. I'm going to take the Crick. Oh, I mean, I could take a Lanoir or uh Lanoir Emissary for fellows. That's what people call this card. I think I like it better than boots or wall of boots. The boots. Although boots, I'm coming around on boots as a magic card. I bet we can wield that card though. <clears throat> Caracas or is it? Yeah, it's not nothing. Ooh. There's a windswept heath, but there's also a currency converter, which is really good with Urza. There's the Seekus Chariot. I might be able to wield the chariot. There's also Grim Monolith. Oh, there's Grim Monolith. That combos with Forenza Gadgets here. Hmm. And it's busted. Do I take this Grim Monolith? I think I'd take this Grim Monolith. Try to wheel the Gadgeteer. Gadgeteer is probably going to wheel, right? We might be able to actually get back Chariot or Pentad Prism. This pack's pretty good. Yeah. Does Monolith go? Oh, no. This Monolith doesn't. You need Basalt Monolith, right? But what if I had two of them? Okay, so if that's the case, do I still just take this? Or do I take Cat Car? Or Currency Converter? I'm going to take Cat Car. Cat Car also just works well with our accelerants. Ooh, there's a strip. That's a late strip. What the fuck? There's also Breeding Pool and Questing Beast. Breeding Pool, pretty good. But we have three blue, uh, three blue green lands. Questing Beast also pretty good with acceleration. But I'm going to take this strip. Strip is not a real magic card. Oh. There's a Renin 6. There's also a Life in the Loam. Can I splash this Renin 6? Should I just take Loam? Loam's just easier to cast. Yeah, let's take this Loam. There's no way I can wield this Loam, right? Yeah, we do have the Jet Mirrors. Hmm. Renin 6 is a more powerful card. I might actually... Hold on. We might get this Loam back. I'm going to take this Renin 6. Oh, Titania? Okay, it's coming together. It's all coming together. I would really like Emrakul 5. Um, so, I gotta say. 
Uh, Croc back for the 49th month. Uh, ben, if you played a Rug Miracle, Grow List, and Canlander, are there any two-mana grow creatures you don't want to run, or am I in the all-in camp? I think personally I'm in the all-in camp because if I'm committing to something like that that I really want to commit... Uh, do I want Copperline Gorge? Let's me cast Ren in six. It is Copperline Gorge, though. I don't really want Raugrin Triome. And does have white because, and then we have Caracas, Jetmires, and this, and then we could play another white. And it cycles. Actually, fuck it. Get this. Well, the double splash. We could pick up something to splash off, off the Triumph. I'm going to take this Raugrin Triumph. Ooh, we could take the Tortoise. Tortoise with the strip. Channel upheaval. Take Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear is good with hers. Uh... I'll take the Tortoise. All right, we're kind of doing something cool. Uh, am I going to play this Sadier Wayfinder? Am I going to play this No More Lies? Probably not. I could take this Flame Slash. Mm, I think I should just take this Wait. Well, I should take Flame Slash. Am I doing this? Omnath, and nobody picked the Omnath, right? I'll take the Wayfinder. <clears throat> nobody picked that Omnath. Aw, oh, ship. Welcome back for the 60th month. Jesus Christ. Congratulations on five years of streaming. Well, thank you to, for a couple things. One, for all the support. Thank you for the kind words. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. We are... I. So I, I have the actual breakdown. Twitch really throws you off when it comes to this kind of thing. Oh, the questing beast wield? No way. And the loam wield. All right, great. Yeah, I figured this might wheel. Um, is that our actual partner anniversary, which is when I'm going to be doing the, um, when I'm going to be doing the celebration is on uh, April 20th. There's a prismatic vista. This is so good for us. Yeah, it's on April 20th is the partner anniversary and when I will be doing the five year like streaming anniversary. Cause Twitch, I didn't even start streaming until April. I have this written down somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> it would be very convenient if I had this in a nice in one, one place in particular. Uh, I'm going to take eternal witness cause we have time walk. Oh, if I can get an ephemery, that'd be kind of clutch. Do they let you smoke weed on stream or is that against TOS? I forget. I don't know. I don't think you, you can, I think you can smoke on stream. You can't explicitly say what it is. Go take this mana drain though. But I usually just do it off stream. Just in case. How come I can't search from me? It's somewhere in here. Oh, is it because... Oh, it's because I'm on the fucking streamer mode. I never want to be on streamer mode. I'll take this manager and show me some new cards. There's a wooded foothills. It's pretty good. We can wheel this deep root wayfinder. Five year stream anniversary time as hell. Yeah, you're telling me. Uh, where is it? How long ago did I talk about this? Okay, I found it. <clears throat> so our first stream, the first ever stream that we did was on April 3rd, 2019. April 3rd, 2019. Ooh, these cards are all very good. Uh, I could take Delighted Halfling or Ponder. I kind of want to take Delighted Halfling. Halfling's not going to wheel. Ponder and True Name are pretty... I mean, Ponder is so good. I'm going to take Delighted Halfling, though, just because we have Ren and Six and friends. There's the stage. There's a Brainstorm. I have two fetches plus a Surveil Land. I like this brainstorm. 
And then there's this. I don't know, I'm not going to play any of these. Uh, once upon a time. So we started, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm playing this force. Um, ooh, gruff triplets. Is that kind of panned out, but in a very different direction uh, where we have broken things that we can set up and if we can set up them reliably, great. If we can't, then not great. I'm not playing this card. I might not even play this channel Emrakul. So we first streamed on April 3rd, 2019. That's when we started. We made affiliate on April 14th. 2019 and then six days later on april 20th we made partner that's pretty cool so i gotta get some taskbar settings i don't know what copilot is There's hoof. Uh, am I casting this hoof? Probably not. I could take the Savannah. I could take Faldorn. Just pass the Splitter Twin. I don't know. Uh, let's take this Faldorn. I might play this card. I could take a Talisman. Works with uh, some of my friends here. Ooh, Subtlety is so much better than Force Negation. Cavalier I'll actually play. Okay, we kind of have a, a goofy-ish deck here. Get the Reclaimer in. Okay, yeah, yeah, this deck actually came together. It's a little goofy, but... Uh, oh, that's so rude! Yeah, April 20th, the day of no fall. It's so small. Okay, this deck looks kind of fun and wacky. Uh, first pass. God, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have Natasha Bedingfield stuck in my head. All right, so that's twenty three. That's not on force negation. It's me, the cube boy, the cube guy. I sub the first day you got affiliate. Yeah, see, this is how Twitch, Twitch is, it's broken, you know? I mean, it, it, you started having sub for one month, you know? Uh, but that's also very heartwarming to hear. Oh, shit. I gotta tell you, it's, it's a very wild feeling of being like, oh, why'd you sub to me? Why why would you sub to why'd you sub to me? I just started this. Please, I'm baby. What did we do for the first stream? I know we played Canadian Highlander. I'm trying to remember what deck we were playing. <laughs> Clicked it by accident. <laughs> we could play a restoration of a ganjo. The splash. No, I think this is fine. Oh, that's 41. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I think... I don't think I'm playing Faldorn. Yeah, we're fine. Match leagues now start upon pairing. There's no longer a confirmation. Oh, cool. Probably some boring shit like garbage platter. If you have any curiosity about the Lawn Lander today, I could provide some answers, my lord. The Lawn Lander. Was that the one in Iowa? I saw that there was a 34-person tournament in Iowa for Canlander <laughs> that had 20 more people than the RCQ 
at the other store that is the bigger like there are there apparently two stores there and like the bigger one had their rcq and it had 20 fewer players than um 20 fewer players than the uh, canlander event all right catch you later mouse and golfer have a good one oh big stretch time to go to iowa <laughs> What's in Iowa? Not much. What's in Iowa with you? Corn? The band or the, the product? Because I like both. Oh, wait. Hold on. Actually, hold on. Let me take that back. The Eclipse. I don't have the music, by the way, so there's no music this stream. I could turn on Magic's online sounds or I could just... <laughs> what is this? A hand for ants? Uh, got a mug in the sand. Oh yeah, that's a that's a banger. Keep. Uh, where in Iowa is the event? Uh, yeah, Northern Des Moines. Oh, there's the loam. I'll take the QB. Ren and six would have been great. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play this halfling. They can get a turn two play here. Oh, they're ousting. They're ousting my halfling? Rude. Oh, I don't have my stops. Holy shit. This is dangerous. Uh, set stop. Set stop. Set stop. Set stop. Set stop. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I could shuffle away the halfling now. I'm a local F and M goer of where the event was held, and I got to talk to some first timers that drove a long time. Very exciting, breaking our attendance record by two. We were ninth in point standings last year, missed the year end by a point. Oh, well, thank you for putting on a dope event. I mean, or being involved in the community that put on the dope event. If I draw a land, it is like a green land. It is so, oh, right. I knew I was drawing the halfling. Oh. Give me that strip. I don't actually think I have one in draw step normally. So I'm going to set these off. Okay, well, we won. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's run it back. Get some mono white. And just run it back. <laughs> Oast is pretty good. It's not that embarrassing of a magic card. Oh, look at this hand. I'm going to keep the crick because they're on mono white. Ooh. I, I don't think YJ has cans of monster. Oh, yeah? You gonna wasteland me? Wait, Luminarch. Oh, shit. Getting wastelanded here is pretty bad. Into one drop, two drop. Mm -hmm. it's pretty bad for me I mean if they don't have a, a play here it's not that bad oh never mind it's very bad wow 
So we're actually equipped to fight them, which is nice. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Okay, so I have a game plan, which is just I'm going to get beat down by Weathered Wayfair. And then uh, I'm going to like play an island and he turn my Reclaimer into a Hedge Maze. And then we're going to Mana Drain a spell into Titania. Oh, well, I'm a 1-2. And on a steel horse I ride, although you're very good with this card. Yeah, I don't know. One drop into two drop that increases power and toughness every turn. Uh, land destruction, land destruction is pretty, pretty gross. Also, putting a counter on Walking Ballista, extra gross. Yeah. Okay, well now it's a little tough. Now I'm kind of incentivized to turn this Caracas into something so I can turn a witness because they don't have to play a magic card. So I think I just have to high roll. I mean, the hedge maze will help us. Mm. I actually think this is how we win this game. Oh, they just traded. Whoa. I don't know about that. They put a counter on this. Um, I think I'm still going to return a card. Put a counter on that. I could chump block. I could trade with this. Or I could just not return a counter. Then they put a counter on this. Then I double block. Uh. It's so, I think I need to actually just do this. It makes my Reclaimer weaker, but I think it sets up a series of plays that are how we survive in this game. Now we could just get dicked. Like there's just a variety of cards my opponent can have that really screw the pooch here. Adeline would be pretty bad. Flicker Wisp wouldn't be that bad. Or Fox Bodyguard. Or Skyclave Apparition would be a little awkward. Yeah. That's good. Crucible. You're a cruci what? <laughs> crucible what? Crucible strip. This is so funny because we're <laughs> we should theoretically be okay against this. Uh oh, that's one way that we can crawl back in. You and you. We can win this game, which is very funny to me. <laughs> now we can. We were in a, we could have won that game. We were in a much better spot than it looked. Uh, I think I just want to send it back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Up the dirty window. <laughs> Something in the distance. Release your inhibitions. Feel the rain on your skin. Curious to see what the top eight of this uh, event was. Turbo Blood. Oh, yeah. This is just. <laughs> 
Ooh. This is like super low to the ground four color blood. I kind of love that. That's the 50, 501 list. Abzan counters at X and one. Damn. Two Abzan counters at X and one. <laughs> Omnitiative. Goblins. Or X one and one. Bant. Was this Seeker Walk or is this just Bant Blink? Seeker Walk. Bant Seeker Walk. Holy shit. Cool stuff here. Ooh. Um. I'm going to keep this hand off the back of Once Upon a Time Finding Me a Land. Oh, R10, Pez 10, how you doing? What does blood mean in this context? Uh, it refers to four color, no blue mid range. I don't need to do this now. Draw. <laughs> oh, I guess I should get a forest here to eternal witness. Didn't even think about this. I was like, I'm not going to turn to win this. We're going to get stripped, probably, or wastelanded. Sure. Didn't matter. Turn this once upon a time. They can use their next turn to Wayfair for strip if they really want to. You're not really making progress. I mean, maybe they're banking. Oh, they just have the strip in their hand. That's funny. So they can strip and then hold priority weathered way, Faramy. Yeah, there you go. Opponent's deck is cool. We get to undo what they've done, which is kind of interesting. Also, I can potentially hedge maze bin a land. That's dope. Now you got to discard. I mean, they can discard a, a planes and then get their crucible online. Ooh. Bin a land? Oh, yeah. It's basically a draw three. It's basically a draw three. Seasoned hollow blade. Yeah. Add her up. Uh, I don't need to dredge. What <laughs> the turtle? Uh, I may rely on you one of these days, turtle. That's my impression of the guy from Entourage. I don't know anything about Entourage. Urza checks the Hallow Blade, which is pretty nice. Although Hallow Blade checks the Titania. Skyclave. Oh. Not letting me have any fun. Mm. Kind of want to do this in case we hit a land. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Kind of just want a tortoise plus bop. Wow. Did not hit any of the things we need. But we did mill a lot of gas, which is good, right? That's what you want? Should have attacked before doing this. I get that F6 equity. 
the turtle. You just get to bring back Strip. I mean, hopefully. They're at 13. Oh, they ousted my turtle. Holy shit. Their deck's really good. I have to take these lumps. I have to take these lumps. At least on this turn. A strip or a fetch would have been would be great here. <clears throat> oh. Hi, Bubba. I mean, they did just use, they've used Skyclave and they've used Oust. We have reasonable blocks. This blocking Adeline is pretty good. Yeah. Got a Gonjo, got a Krakus, get a basic plants. We're going to draw the turtle. Do I want the turtle? I mean, I guess I can once upon a time here. Run him out of stuff eventually. Didn't attack. That's good for us. Sure, I'll take the tortle. The tortle. Give me the crick. Give me the tortle. Ooh. Man, this card's pretty good. Mm. 16 cards left. I can bounce Adeline and I can get my hanger back walker pumped up. We also have Time Walk in our deck. That's a pretty important one to think about. The fact that they got basic planes, yeah, they can keep getting these basic planes. Elite Spellbinder. That card's annoying. Now they're going to get my Titania. Also, something that I can only really deal with uh, through the birds right now. You can't cast the Adeline, which actually means that I have a reasonable attack here, potentially. So now this card costs a million. Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Cost seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna buy Titania. You got a reprieve? Okay. Kind of annoying. Jesus, their deck's annoying. Um, I think I have an attack with a hanger back walker. That's fine. 
I'm kind of into like forcing them to pitch cards to the Hallow Blade. Yeah. They got a bunch of planes in their hand. Which is kind of annoying. Although I guess does this speak to them having Does this speak to them? Is Geddon still in the cube? They made a bunch of changes. I don't know if Geddon's still in the cube. <laughs> With this new angle, I mean this is not a permanent angle, but it's very funny. You just get to see the glow in the dark skeleton with the bolo tie. Not playing Adeline. Claimer. Are you going to Wrath? I don't know. I feel like that benefits me. Do I want to attack before I do this? Uh, I kind of want to see. Time block, questing beast, chariot. Don't have that many th things to get. Time walk would be a pretty good draw. That's also not that bad of a draw. Oh, maybe I should have... I'm just going to cash in. I don't think they're going to Wrath. Please don't mill time walk. Eggs, eggs, I did mill the time GS walk. Eggs. That's fine. I don't think I'll need it. Knickknacks, welcome back for the 20th month. Settle the wreckage isn't in the cube. Oh, solitude. That's fine. Yeah, that's still okay. Must be the cat. Without Rathew? No, Rathew's in the corner. I made sure to get Rathew here. Left, bottom left. They exiled the birds, so they're going to try to kill me with this. You block like that, I get my 4-4. Four, four. I'm okay with these. Yeah, I'm not going to... I would, I would never leave out Rathew. Do you know how mad people would get if Rathy weren't here? I don't believe they have Wrath. We could also just Caracas or Titania. We could be dead. Um, mm, I mean, they could play an equipment on the Elite Spellbinder. They're at 10. Okay. 
Jump Elspeth is still in here. They could have had Jump Elspeth. It's a lot of mana. A walking ballista, right? They just walking ballista me and I die? Yeah. Damn. They had the right things at the right time, which felt pretty bad. I don't know. I feel like we played that pretty reasonably. They drew they drew a fair amount of cards. Um I think the the double turtle mill at the beginning was pretty bad. Still don't get why they ah they probably were like they had the solitude right they had I imagine they had the solitude. <laughs> yeah, Triskelion would have also killed. They must have had the solitude, but then they pivoted like you know obviously it's appealing to solitude Titania, but it's not really what's going to win them the game. Let me look at more of these deck lists. Uh, ooh. Naya mid-range. Jeskai breach. Orzov death and taxes. Wait, Orzov. No, this is Mono White. Mono White DNT. Wow, that's a low land count. And they have... He Do they have Heliod combo? No, they just have the uh, Cauldron. Uh, What is this? Naya Humans? Or Naya Winota, I guess. Uh, Red Deck wins. What is this? Bant Pants? Holy shit. Bant, like, Hexproof plus Auras. Like Rancor, like Bogles. They're playing Bogles. Oh, the Lumberjack, huh? Well. Yeah, these are these are Canlander decks from this uh 34 person Iowa event. This sets up Ren Six ping their thing and strip them. They could play a five drop here and then it'd be pretty bad. Oh, that's I mean that's not great. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this Taiga in particular. Flame slash my halfling, shaking my head. Yeah, there you go. Where's your forest now? Where's your forest now? Ooh, delicious two power creatures. Although I can't actually do anything about that. Because they killed my halfling. Brutal. Okay, we like to see that. Don't like to see that. <sighs> but if they're not cracking and they're not attacking with this, that's pretty good. I'm going to take so much damage from my mana here. Hopefully they just don't have anything to do. Whoa, you are fetching. Are you getting something and then lightning bolting me? Mm -hmm. Green. Got a crop rotation. Royal treatment? <sighs> All right. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I'm cursed. I feel like this draft is cursed. Royal treatment in the Orcish Lumberjack Lotus Cobra deck. That's wild. All right. Good beats. 
good beats, I guess. For not attacking with this. Okay, as long as they don't have anything too big here. If they do, it's fucked. And then where they just, you know, it's just one of those games. Uh, You check both of these and also give me enough mana to... I'm dealing so much damage to myself. Oh, my God. Give me enough mana to Titania next turn. Please... I can't I don't know if I'd be able to stand it if your last card was another removal spell. Would not be able to take it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on time. Right, right on time. <clears throat> well, the good news is we can at least pressure. I mean, they might trade with the Cobra here. Or sure, carry at it, get in the way. Is that Kool-Aid? No, it's Mio. Oh my god. And me, you're adding to red and me without a blue card for the subtlety. This stream's cursed. This is fucking cursed. This is cursed. What the hell are you casting? Are you casting an, are they casting an Archon against me? No way. They're casting an Archon. It has to be, right? Or Walking Ballista for a bajillion? Oh, it's Emrakul. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this isn't happening. This has this is not happening. Oh please. I used up all my good draft juices earlier. This must be the account of those two Guatemalan guys that Adam and I were talking about. I'll keep. <laughs> Ever cooled them back? I don't know about that. The 34 person can lander event in Iowa? Oh, I saw. It was, that's dope. I uh, was talking about the lists earlier. Very excited. I can't believe they royal treatment me. I need to get this down. For taking Adam's record to two and one? Come on, I turned his mono blue four color deck with no fixing into a chained draft. Come on, what do you mean? Why am I getting punished? Also the strip. Yeah, this is, I thought this deck was fine. Oh no. Yeah, give me these cards. I want to find an untapped land. I don't think this actually does what I want. I spent all the luck. Flame Slash. Ramanap. Okay. Good news, everybody. Our strip mine deck has fought another a crucible opponent. Oh, I'm on tilt. <laughs> on tilt. This must the stream was a mistake. I need the power of Natasha Bedingfield in order to get me through this. It would be pretty funny if we just said, fuck it. No VOD. Only Natasha Bedingfield. That's not a bad draw. Questing Beast can get us there, but 
They, oh, hello. There's no way they aren't just sitting on flame slash. That's, that's the real, real problem here. Only toxic. The Euro beat. Unwritten or babies. She's got more than one song. I only know unwritten. <laughs> no one else can feel it for you. Raging Ravine. They could have a 3 3 on the Scoos. This is so fucked. I'm going to get hit by Emrakul twice. She has a number of jams. Okay, apologies. I, I guess I'm a fake Natasha Benningfield fan. I could sing it when probably not be demonetized. Just like patch in your audio. You foretold. What card? Oh, delayed fireball blast. Delayed blast fireball. I'm going to get blasted. Mm, I could just play the Sentinel. And getting Cat Car down seems pretty good. Nora Jones? Oh, what's... Is it don't know why I didn't come? Is that the... Oh, wait, hold on. Don't know why. Yeah, it's don't know why. That's the Nora Jones song. It's just called don't know why, not don't know why I didn't come. That, the I didn't come part is in the lyrics. Well, let's be clear. Technically not, you know, keep digging. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to dig up. Oh, that's a good match card that I can't cast yet. I can cast it with this. Mm, I think I probably want to mana drain it, right? Cat car. Huh? What? No way. No way. I don't know. I said it like the guy from uh, Prozac. The very clear fake British accent. Eggs. Eggs. E double G S eggs. Brad, welcome back for the twelfth month. How are you doing? Thank you for all the support. Glad to have a good to see you. Oh, get back in here. Make these blocks again. Oh, they've skipped uh, the blockers already, so they can't, like, buff this to block this, so they're always taking that. Oh, no. I don't know. I didn't know why I didn't come. Most people don't know our SRSR. I just do that to people. That's true. Oh. Well. Let's 
Sylvan Library is really bad uh, <laughs> into Emrakul. I'm finding. I don't. Th they can't kill me though. At least. They can pay eight and make me take one from this. Yeah, it's an Emrakul. I have the Crick. Play my land first. They also have Strip. Oh my god. Okay. They're at four. Can I push damage? We'll find out. Eight, nine, ten. Can they find an extra point of damage here? Ahoy, Aboria, how you doing? Uh, tonight's cursed. Uh, Tonight is absolutely cursed. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. All right, well, maybe it's not as cursed anymore. Uh, Fuzznuts gifted five subs to the community. Holy smokes. Uh, to Orlantia, uh, Platymage, Monsters, Extra Gives Lang Drewer, and a Nikia Tori. That's very kind of you. Well, they gave me a 5-3. That's cool. Ah, it's very kind of them. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. It's extremely generous of you, Fuzznuts. If you did receive a sub, you should probably thank the person that gifted them. It's kind of a kind thing ah, to do. Another one. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. Conniptions. Surely you attack with these cats. Ah, another one. Gives me conniptions. Block this, this, this. One, two, three. But I need one. So I think I'm actually fine here. Right? They block biggest thing, biggest thing eggs, in this thing. Eggs, oh. And you're going to do this? I think I'm okay with that, right? Even if you fail to find? Because now you're potentially making this a 3-3? Three, three. They get to see my whole deck, too. Dead on board. Big, big, big. And they take three. No, they have a scooze and there's a creature in the yard that they can eat, so they're technically at four. Tip shat. <laughs> Oh, Tip's hat. <laughs> yeah, Tip Shat, you know. Did a bit of an oopsie and bought too many magic cards, so it's ice soup for me until payday. Oh, <laughs> the classic. They're writing this all down. Write this down. Honey Jack, welcome back for the 23rd month. What up? How you doing? How you been? Oh, I gotta put these AirPods away. I gotta put these AirPods away. Yeah, my plan is uh, that I'm going to play this. I'm going to stack my deck with Sylvan Library, and then I'm going to play the Sentinel, make a map to can explore on the thing, and then I have lethal. So they're not dead on board, but they're dead in... Uh, I mean, given the board, they're not dead. But with all the information here, yeah, they are dead. Uh, Assuming I don't one. just, like, get a massive whiff on the Sylvan Library. Gives me conniptions. Uh, I'd like to go to my draw step. I would like to use this. I would like to put that back and that back. Play this. Play this. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, sure, why not? Great. <clears throat> I think I'm running it back. This card is so cool. Should I bring an Emrakul? The Emrakul mirror? I don't have a lot of Delirium cards. I mean, we have Self Mill. Honestly, it might be fine. Maybe I just have to like go over the top. We have the Cavalier too. Um, cut this Rafels. Rafels does let me cast it. I can cut a land here. Loam seems a little bit worse against them. But also they have strips, so Loam seems like it's okay. Maybe I shouldn't just play it. Maybe I should just not play Emrakul here. Ch could cut Chariot. Eh, I've got over-the-top cards. I got Gruff Triplets. I'd like to draw my uh, thing. Have we convinced to come to CubeCon? More to come. More to come. Uh, good things take time. Uh, don't worry your pretty little head off. There will be more information about that. Do I want to keep this card? Uh, I kind of want to keep this Gruff Triplets. Because I'm going to time walk into Eternal Witness, time walk, and then we're going to pop off. Uh, happy bait you. To bait you. Oh, fuck. They get my gruff triplets. Uh, welcome back for the fourth month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you for the support. They took my fucking gruff triplets. Oh, that's a good card to get. Can't even get you to come to the Land Run Vintage event in Oklahoma. Remember, if I have like 24 hours notice, plane ticket, and a roof over my head, we're good. We're golden. Habait you? How bait you? Not much. How bait about you? Shit. Uh, another Did one. I do it properly? Raging Rage. It's it a pass. Into ah, another one. Prismatic Vista gives me conniptions. Into this. Into this. Ah, Into this. Another one. Into this. Gives me conniptions. <laughs> the tortoise. Ooh. Ah. Another I think one. I'm just playing Tortoise and activating Reclaimer. Gives me conniptions. I think I like Tortoise activate Reclaimer. Uh, or not Tortoise, Urza activate Reclaimer. One. Jesus Christ. Gives me conniptions. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Honeyjack. Gifted five subs to the community. Jesus, Louises. To Admiral Albatross, Papa Master Goat, I Love a Tardis, Phony Geek, and Reindeering. It's very kind of you. Thank you so much for uh, the generosity. That means a lot to me. Ooh, now I'm going to get the Crick. Did they just side into, like, aggressive cards? I'll sack the Hedge Maze. Look at the crick. That's a good one. Play the turtle. Am I turtly enough for the turtle club? Oh, we got all of them back. I want the hedge maze. I want that. 
Um... What if I just bounce this? If I bounce this, I get to push for six. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna bounce this. If you use your mana to play Questing Beast and attack me, that's fine. That's I'm okay with that. I just want Wheeler said by to notice me. I read everybody's comment in chat. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Not entirely cursed. Jesus. Maybe a little bit cursed. Not entirely cursed. A little cursed. Why is Will Nar Arnett in every commercial? Here's a fun little thing you can do. Pick a celebrity. And then type gambling. Or type lawsuit scandal I don't know if I were a celebrity I would absolutely do as many commercials <laughs> as possible also probably because if he does commercials who does he do commercials for? He does car commercials. They give you free cars. This is very slow, but I do have a strip on one, so I'm going to keep. And Reese's? <laughs> Norm McDonald. Yeah, exactly. I'll do anything for money. Even if I had a lot of money, I would do everything for money. Anything. I'll do everything for money. <laughs> Geico? What's he getting? I mean, free car insurance, probably. Also, I don't know if you are... He does a lot of voice acting, too, right? Oh, yeah. The old strip the opponent that played a mox. Is this where I'm at in life? Sure is. <clears throat> well, let's hope it's an off-color mox. Ooh. Norm is dead? I didn't even know he was sick. I just got to the part in the Lurvod. See, this is why you strip them. Look at this shit. Look at this. They had a mox draw with two lands. They thought they were safe. Uh-uh-uh. No, no, no. Uh-uh-uh. No, no, no. And we have a subtlety. Uh, got to the point in the Lurvod where he said, yeah, when I go, <laughs> go home, I'm just going to do more drafts logging to see this. Oh, yeah, I'm a man of my word. Hmm. Well. I'm just going to keep up this subtlety. And the next turn, I can play Urza and subtlety if I still haven't. Yeah, I'm just going to brick your draws. I would have probably targeted anything, frankly. Perfect. If I get balanced, it'll be very funny. <clears throat> oh, if I cat, oh, I could have cat. No, cause he's tap, right? He's have to tap.
blossoming tortoise. Yeah, I, I can put that in the yard. Okay. <clears throat> This card is so fucked. It's been like six years and I still just look at Urza and think about Urza in like combo decks and and it just makes my job so much easier. And then when you play it in mid-range decks and you're like, oh wait, this card is just really good. Like it just comes with a very powerful body and uh, look at that. You get to gas some extra stuff. Also check this out, by the way. Oh. Check this out. I just picked up a can lander. I'm looking at your paradox list and was wondering what lines you had with retrofitter. So you can generate a bunch of infinite mana uh with it. It's a good sink for infinite mana. Um it's uh really powerful. It it's good at preserving your life total as well. Now, we couldn't do this on our old computer where we have magic on. <laughs> we, we got magic online going and we got Elden Ring in the background. <laughs> All right, I'm going to quit. <laughs> I'm going to keep this in. I am. Oh, no. Well, it could have been scarier. Yeah, that would have been a hell of a double Q. Is this because I pulled up Elden Ring? No. <laughs> Alright, I may I may have fucked with it a little too much. Um Guess I should have done this before. Oh, that's that's okay. Gotta remember to keep the word of command Gus overlay. Oh, do I still have it? I think I have it. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. Don't worry. I brought it. <laughs> I brought. I brought over all the important stuff. I'm still, still migrating some stuff, but uh, yeah. They ousted my delighted halfling. Or not delighted halfling. Reclaimer? Mm. Well, I'm going to play the Sentinel. Because it blocks really well. Why is Gus so funny? We got a lot of... You know, people, people like dogs. But also, there are a lot of dogs that are kind of in my general sphere. That may not necessarily be my dog. Oh, there's a parallax wave. That's annoying. Not the end of the world. It's a little annoying on the hangerback walker. But I think I can survive a little bit. Also, the cab is going to be pretty big. Uh, play you. This goes down to two, this goes down to one, and it goes down to zero. The cab can kind of push that. I need to send you a Gus paint reference for a painting. Oh, uh, Gus and or, and or Lenny, actually. Yeah, Lenny would be preferred.
GG's brother. GGGG baby baby baby. You got a parallax wave? Walk here. Then strip this and this becomes a three four and then they have to parallax wave this and I've already made the block. Yeah. Green. It's not bad. If they're heads up, they exile it there. They did not. Cool. I'm going to play another Urza. <laughs> they can parallax wave this. That means that I get all this back. They can parallax wave the untapped token. Uh, then I get them all back, or they just let Parallax Wave tick down one more turn. <clears throat> also just makes my car instruct big. Big car instruct. Big car instruct. Yeah, you want to do it now? Yeah, take the Karnstruct out. This triggers. I get everybody back. Your backwalker dies immediately. <clears throat> Android's a pretty okay card. Yeah, it's not bad. Selfless Spirit. Okay. That's a little annoying, but we have the Cav. And Sentinel can attack in, but it... It stinks with the plate splicer. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I think I want to do this to start. Uh, put it in the graveyard. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we got a two one with that. We got the content trophy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. I did not sleep super well last night, and my allergies and sinuses have been uh, real bad, which is why I'm extra red right now. It sucks. It sucks, and I hate it. Anyways, let's boot up Street Fighter VI while we wait. Or Tarkov. I did install Tarkov. Yeah, it stinks. Um, it honks. Any other really cool decks here? Ooh, somebody brought Checkpile? I do like Checkpile. There's a Canlander tournament in Bellingham uh, in... Oh, how do I even look at the calendar on this? There's a Canlander tournament in Bellingham on the first weekend of April. So in two weeks from now, uh, that uh, myself and a group of Vancouver players are going to go down to. Um, and it's like first place gets a volcanic island and some other stuff and... Sounded pretty cool. I have family in Bellingham. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of neat. I, I just, I, I really want to play more Canlander. Um, and after watching the year end, I really want to take an event down. Uh, I don't entirely know what I want to play. Also, this pack's pretty weak. 
Gives me conniptions. Um, <clears throat> there's Stone Forge, which you can like spec on. Uh, you have Narset. I mean, Basalt Monolith, Time Warp. It's a little too early for Leovold. Uh, I don't know. Narset? I think it's Narset. Let's take Narset. Oh. Well, there's a Palace Jailer. <coughs> yeah, Stoneforge is great. I should have taken... Stoneforge is likely the, like, if I'm setting myself up to draft one of the better decks in the format. Stoneforge is where it's at. Narset and the Monarch's kind of funny, because them getting the Monarch doesn't really matter. Um, Jailer's the best card in this pack. There's Copter. Noble is pretty good with Narset. But I also like Noble in... Or I like Jailer and Narset in the same kind of... Same kind of deck here. Ooh, well, there's a Preordain, so I'm going to take Preordain. There's also Thoughtseize. Preordain goes well in the Narset and the Palace Jailer decks. Uh, there's also Spars Headquarters. A little early. I'm just going to take Preordain. There's some pretty bad cards in this cube, huh? Factor Fiction feels a little outmodded. I don't really want to take Mana Dive. Could take Pentad Prism. This card's not that bad. It's shockingly good. Could take FTK. Could take Recurring Nightmare to do something with Palace Jailer. Doesn't really do much with Narset or Preordain. Um, I could take Foff. Dig is, like, not really good. You want to pick up Dig super late when you're like, oh, I have fetches and thought scours and stuff. Uh, Bond names the James. Thank you for gifting a sub to the community. That went to... I got to take a pick. Uh, FTK. Recurring Nightmare. FTK. 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 It's FTK. Shit. Should have been Recurring Nightmare. <clears throat> Could take Zagoth Triumph. Could take Grist. I know Grist is a two-color card. But Grist is so good. Zagoth Triumph, though. Could just start taking Triomes. I'm going to take Grist. I, I fuck with Grist heavy. Ooh, Eternal Witness. So, Eternal Witness, I... I know people really love Eternal Witness. I've started to... My fascination with this card in Cube started out as like, oh, I could do Eternal Witness stuff. That'd be so cool. And then it evolved to like, no, actually, this is kind of dope. I think Eternal Witness is shockingly good right now. Especially with all the like one mana kind of cards. You know, like so many efficient, powerful cards that it's just so easy to E-Witness with double spell. You know? I could take the Crick. I kind of like the Crick. I like it better than World Spine or whatever. Yeah, I'll take the Crick. Ooh. Could take a... That's a late Shallow Grave. Orin works with a Crick. Could take a Temple Garden to unlock Grist. Witness Palace Jailer. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just start, start taking some of these lands. Uh, I'll take a Stoneforge came around dude play the game we're here to see you play what you want me to boot up elden ring oh yeah the, oh yeah hentad prism i'm gonna be thinking about that soul read on the enlightened tutor for a while it's one of those things where you played it when you play enough Let the sun shine Magic the Gathering. This Lord of Cinder. Uh, I don't really want any of these. I could take Llanowar Elves. Mm, I don't think we're doing Insidious Root stuff. Got a Shizuki. We could be like a bug. Oh, the Recurring Nightmare came back. Okay. We could be like a bug uh, Planeswalker sort of deck. We could just be like a Four color, five color recurring nightmare deck. <clears throat> How many hours in Elden Ring? 
Not a huge amount. I didn't actually enjoy Elden Ring as much as most people. I, it's it's phenomenal, but I found it too open. Yeah, I mean, my is going to do all that. 252 hours. So not a huge amount. But I think the optimal build of Canlander uh, Paradox is wheel heavy. Wheel heavy. Yeah, you just, you kind of have to play the wheels. Live by the wheel, die by the wheel. Uh, Ravager Bass, welcome back for the second month. It's a cantrip, Michael. What could it cost? Two mana? Ooh. How do you look at... Is there a way to look at all the hours you've played with a game? I'm kind of curious about my Dark Souls plays. Let's see, Dark Souls Remastered. Any guesses? Oh, I'll take the Chariot. Cat car is pretty good. Any guesses on how many hours I have in Dark Souls Remastered? It's a tropical island. It's also Teferi. I don't know, I'm probably going to take Teferi and just load up on these planeswalkers. 500 plus 420, I don't even think it's that much. <clears throat> People might over, might, might shoot how much I have. Rem I didn't play Remastered that much. Yeah, it's only 166 hours. <laughs> Not a lot. I mean, that is a lot. But not a huge amount. I think I'd take Teferi over Tropical Island here. There's like Teferi, Trop, Miscalc. Obviously, Green Sun's quite good. And Tomb is quite good. Maybe Teferi, because we're the least likely to play these two, this color. But I have Caracas and Temple Garden. Maybe Trop is just better. I'm always playing this Trop. It's not a fetch, but it's going to make my fetches so much stronger. Yeah, I'm going to take this Trop. Oh, there's a fourth arrow, I guess. <clears throat> there's also a sword supply of shares. I think I have to take swords over fourth. Swords is really good. Fourth is obviously busted. I mean, I... Do I have a way of getting fourth into my deck? Uh, I Maybe less on this and more on... Yeah, I'll take the swords and protect my walkers kind of game plan. Ketria Triome. Could take Red and, <laughs> Red and Realm Breaker. I'm going to take this Ketria Triome. Over Fatal Push? No. Should take Fatal Push. Could take True Name. True Name over Colonnade. I can wield this Colonnade. I would rather not play this Stothy Voidwalker in this deck. Feels like it's going to be tough to cast. This deck's kind of a mess, but it could do something. All right, what do we think of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin? Dark Souls 2. How long do you think I played Dark Souls 2 for? Oh, Delighted Halfling is perfect. There's also Mox Diamond. Uh, Halfling is like ideal. I'm not as high as Mo on Mox Diamond as most people. Ha this is the what I call the Halfling deck. I'll take the Delighted Halfling. There's a Wheel of Fortune to go with our Narset. There's a Lotus Cobra. There's a Chromatic Star to help us fix too. I'm going to take this Wheel of Fortune. Go with Narset. You can play FTK too. Yeah. Ooh, take a proving ground here over currency converter. Oh, let's see. <laughs> 62 hours. I played Dark Souls 2 for 62 hours. 62 hours, 62.7 hours. Really need Birds of Paradise, though. Land of War Elves is not the kind of mana accelerant you want for this kind of deck. Um, okay, what about Dark Souls 3? Here's the big one. Dark Souls 3. Ooh, there's an Omnath. I could play Omnath. Well, I don't really have fetches. I would rather take IOK, I think, or Avacyn's Pilgrim. 
I think I should take Pilgrim. 422,000. I do things with my time that are not video games. Shocked, I'm sure. Uh, 400 hours. Four hundred hours for Dark Souls three. What about Sekiro? A hundred and one hours. Oh, Blue Moon Marsh. I like Blue Moon Marsh over Talisman here. Hundred hours in Sekiro. This game fucking rules. I, I've I've played and replayed Sekiro a bunch. I think it might be one of the best games of all time. It's uh Granted, my opinion is, well, it's my own. There's a batter skull. How many hours in Bloodborne? Probably a hundred. I have not played Liza P yet. I was waiting to get a better computer, but now we can. Uh, I don't think I'm playing any of these. I mean, I'll take the Walla Boots because two to ramping into this is kind of hot. Take a Samwise. How many times can I make the Fallout New Vegas jokes before it gets old? I have Fallout. Where is it? How many how many hours do you think I have in Fallout New Vegas? For for comparison, I have 17 hours in Fall Guys. <laughs> Fall Guys. Oh, there's a Shieldred? Is with my Wheel of Fortune? Yes, please. One, two, 30 minutes. I have 30. <laughs> I have 30 minutes. 30 minutes in follow. I did not jive with this game. Was not interested. Ooh, a fetch land. Uh, blue. I think Wooded Foothills is actually going to be better than Scalding Tarn. Because the green part of this is the more exciting part. I'm going to take Wooded Foothills. I think I'm kind of priced into taking some of these lands. Take a breeding pool. I made a character. No, I stepped out. I made a character. I got on my own way. I did some stuff. How many hours do you think I have in Street Fighter 6? This will actually be kind of fun. Street Fighter 6. 700 the game came out earlier this year what do you mean 700 creeping tar pit i'm not taking this figure of destiny uh i actually kind of like prismatic ending for this deck i shot a rad roach mm, no 250 <laughs> 250 hours. Basically 700. I'm trying to think if there's a game on here that I have more. I mean, it's got to be Dark Dark Souls 3 has got to be my... The number one game. Not close. <clears throat> Gwent. 123 hours. Garfield Kart. Three hours. Counter-Strike 2? Didn't they call this Source? They change its name? Among Us? 21 hours. Fuck, I want them back. Uh, I got a Temple Garden. Ow. Well, there's the Cauldre Complete for my... Um, whatchamacallit? Stoneforge, if we want to play it. Wait, is that worth it? You can also take Meticulous Archive. I don't have a fetch for it. It is a blue-white duel. I already have a crack or a temple garden. So taking Savannah is not as exciting. I'll take a blue-white duel. I'll take it to rest.
Some of those Lure Among Us streams are the hardest I've ever laughed watching Twitch. Good. The hell? Am I having like an allergic reaction to something? Maybe just the irritation. <clears throat> How many hours in dual links? That's a good call. Well, actually, is it? Mm. A new Gus tattoo. It is like... Yeah, what, what is it? Little, little, uh, weird, very weird. Uh, what was I looking at? Oh, dual links. 21 hours. Oh, oh Hackstreaker wheeled? That's not okay. The Wizard 101 reinstall. <clears throat> I have a hundred hours in Master Duel. Oh, fuck. It's a good game, though. Wizard 101. Nope. Never again. 75 hours in Slay the Spire, huh? Uh, I'll take a P wave, a P wave. I did get rust. I did get rust. It was on sale. How much from one step from me? Nail to gear rising revengeance. Hotline Miami. Hollow Knight. Silk song out when? <clears throat> oh the jar jar is yeah i guess jar is okay with arset not really i don't know lost kingdoms on is this your card 720 is going to be on your end yeah Lost Kingdoms and Baton Kaidos. Excuse me. My tummy is bumbly. What am I, what what else do you want? What are, what do we suggest lands? You want me to play 16? I don't want to play 16. I think I have to play 17. Shouldn't play double forest though. I think it's actually that. Yeah. Could bring in Samwise. Wait, why am I playing Rafine? <clears throat> we can side in the forest later. That's true. That's true. Excuse me. 
He made a bet with a friend for a hundred bucks that Silk Song wouldn't be released by 2025. Sounds like a safe bet to make. I'm gonna keep this. Their name is Shrekster, as in like Shrekstra Large. Why can I never escape Shondalar? <clears throat> this looks like the draft went wrong somewhere. Well, kinda. Not as wrong as you'd think. Oh. Well, maybe a little wrong. <laughs> maybe a little wrong is a treat. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Sorry, I was clicking to the <laughs> to the beat of unwritten. Just wanted to feel the rain on my skin. <clears throat> hey, that's what I wanted to grab off this fetch. <clears throat> They're going to eye me. They can take the fatal push. Oh. All right, well, thank you. I don't think I have a fetchable untapped black land with this. Ooh, we could check it out. Nope. That lush portico. Don't, didn't even have a fetchable black source off, off that wooded foothills. <clears throat> a fetchable second black source. Should I just be on two black? I guess the halfling would have let us cast the shouldered. So maybe I should have considered it. You want to hit me with that resto angel? And they just let it happen. Oh, I milled my FTK. Insect count. Did I draft a Haywire Mite? I forgot. <laughs> Drew the Vidskin Foo. Mm -hmm. mm. What's your name? What you naming? Eggs. Oh my god. Yes, yes. HD, welcome back for the 50th month. They say my life is like a video game. That I try to beat the stage all the while still collecting coins. What? Is this going to be some like Macklemore song? Oh, they named Flash, and they whiffed, and they shuffled in, <laughs> they shuffled in the, uh, whatchamacallit, oh, Itali's pretty good. 
What did you cast? My Oddity? No, I needed that. I mean, I have this Wall of Boots and the Stalactite Stalker. Okay. Well, the Wall of Boots checks this. Palace Jailer is going to be able to grab that. And I can kill your Tamiyo. I think I'm doing this. <clears throat> There's the second black for Shildred. Yeah, it's, it's a thrift shop. Oh, oh no, I'm a tired mom with the soft serve. Playing Highlander with my bud, watching your stream in the background, just reanimated Aggressive Ram with Children play. Holy smokes. That's pretty good. I too love drawing my deck. <clears throat> They're at eight. That's not nothing. Oh, that's a good sign. No one else can feel it for you. Feel the rain on your skin. <clears throat> they can't figure out what they want to kill. They might have another reanimation spell in which if they reanimate my palace jailer, it's pretty bad. Oh, that's a pretty good magic card. Just don't want to have to deal with this card. Draw a card, gain two life from Shieldred. Excuse me. Ooh, the Crick. Take two from Shieldred. Now, even if they flash out a World Spine Worm, we can attack for three with True Name. And then, yeah. Has anyone ever accidentally chosen themselves with true name? I've done that. I've cast true name before choosing myself and then like board wipe. Like played a, a fiery confluence. Like it's not great, but you know. <coughs> oh, sh Oh shit, we got a game. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, what the fuck? How did I lose this game off that cycled miscalculation? No. Because they're going to hit me, then they're going to get the Monarch back, then they get a Tali. Damn, that's so fucked. <laughs> <coughs> that is so fucked. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. Of the six. Hell of a draw. Hell of a draw. Beat down. I 
do want that card on top. A slight miscalculation. Fighting game character asked. <laughs> A slight miscalculation. Pierce. So what do you think? Bone shards into shallow grave? Bone shards, my hex ranker, shallow grave something. Oh yeah. Um, we can actually beat in tomb or vamp for flash world spine. Yeah, we can actually beat this. It was it was exactly that. We can beat this. <clears throat> Between Grist and Palace Jailer? Oh yeah. It's not going to be pretty, but we can do it. Actually, I'd lead with Grist first, because then we can sack this, kill this. They might be tempted to push damage on Grist, which will give us more time. I just kind of have to hope they don't have anything else really going on. Just got done playing CDH with the Buds and won the wildest opening hand I ever had. Didn't think it was possible to win with a zero land hand. CDH is wild. Well, you're going to the dome with both of these. Yeah, that's fine. Take 10. I mean, yeah, the power of Jeweled Lotus. I mean, other cards are pretty good too. If they have miscalc. Oh, stern scolding. <sighs> Dead on board. No. No. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Warm up round. Warm up round. Fool of a talk. It's okay. We took the L, but we can still grab ourselves a content W. We can get that content trophy. Who doesn't want the content trophy? Some Dr. Hoomst. All right, catch you later. Ooh, I'm going to keep this because we can deal with a two drop into Narset, it's kind of kind of hot. It's a little slow. We got removal, and our mana's pretty good. Turn one land brainstorm, huh? Huh? Oh. What? Uh, 
I don't think I need the children. <laughs> not, not here. Not here. Stoneforge. If they get Cauldra complete, I'm kind of priced into uh, Prismatic Ending. They did get Cauldra complete. Okay. They must have brainstormed because they had the Cauldra complete in their hand. Like it had to be in their opener, I guess. They're just using their mana efficiently. <laughs> Pack negation, sapphire medallion, mana crypt, jewel lotus, reshape, merchant scroll, counter spell, and your commander is Ursa. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty all right. Uh huh. Damn, everybody's doing more powerful stuff than we are. So many tutors. You do. <laughs> they demonic tutored and then mystical tutored and put show and tell on top. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to play Narset, I think. Just in case they put Gristlebrand into play. I'll take a Swords to buy shares. All right, show and tell gamer, what do you got? I have a true name nemesis. I'm going to choose you. Oh, yeah, you have protection from instance. I need to get a black source so that we can grist them. Demonic tutor, mystical tutor, stone forge. Sheesh, black source, cat car. Nice, nice. Big old whiff. Uh, four. I'm not racing this. I have to find a black source. An untapped black source at that. Oh, yeah, Grist is right, because Grist is a creature. I should have put in the Grist, and then I could have played the true name. I guess that's fine even against Archon. Because we have this Nursed kicking around. I'm going to level with you. It is about hour... It's about hour 10 for me. So if my slops are a little magops, that's why. Cryptic coat. Okay. Untap blue, untap blue, untap blue, untap blue. Or not untap blue, untap green. Or black. Fuck. One of them. Please, any of them. Um. Okay. Well, if you're doing that, parallax wave actually sounds kind of hot. With this FTK. Uh, I kind of want untap black. I've noticed that a couple of times. So I'm going to add a swamp. Extra swamp. I wanted untap black for Shildred or Grist several times. I got a mulligan this hand. Uh, I'll keep this hand. Looks a little jangy. But that's only because it is. Take a rest. Can't do that. Can't do that. 
But what I can do is churn out slop. Who doesn't love content slop? Give me the slop. Give me that, give me that, give me that slop. See you, Fuzz Nuts. Have a good one. Surveil land into surveil land. Please don't stern scolding my grist. I'm begging you. Force a will my grist. Okay. It's pretty gross. Are you just going to show and tell against me? Him to Tora. Can you hit my memory jar? Okay. If we get a land for our children, okay be okay no did i win the emercool no i donked out cryptic cult Well, cat car is pretty good clock if it resolves. <clears throat> really need to hit a second black here or a second blue. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I put children to play. Oh. Well, you're kind of annoying. Is there anything I can have against this? <laughs> Don't actually think so. Oh, we have one thing. <laughs> Yoink. Part of why the crick is so good. <clears throat> okay. Nice draw, streamer. Thank you. That's why I put all the good cards in my deck to draw them. Drawing the good cards. Pretty all right. Pretty all right. Ahoy, ignition points. <sighs> Pal Shaler is pretty good against show and tell. I'm going to keep this hand. We have a lot of our mana is all right between the two cards here. We have a Fatal Push if they go for a Stoneforge line. We have a Palace Jailer if they go for uh, a uh, Show and Tell line. I mean, it's a little awkward <clears throat> if they Cryptic Coat. Uh, no, I have not looked at it yet. Pub, pubkin, uh, oh, 
Not much. What's publican with you? What's publican? A binned mystical tuner? Well, I didn't draw the land that I wanted. I might save this again. Cobra here is okay. I mean, Cobra... I guess I could find Savannah and we could Cobra. Yeah, that's fine. The Triumphs don't actually do what I want there. I guess I could have got Lush Portico. Oh, fuck. I didn't take the Savannah. Right. I should have got Lush Portico. Oops. I forgot that I had that. It's fine. Two damage won't hurt us. Surely. They force willed my Lotus Cobra? Wow. Okay. I really wish I had the Lush Portico. Okay. Scoops. Give me that. Eh, give me that. All right. All of it. Pumpkin, pub, pumpkin is all of it. Mm -hmm. Ulamog thrown in jail for jaywalking. No, Ulamog was caught jacking off in a theater. Not even a porno theater, not even a movie theater. He got caught jacking off during, um, <laughs> now you see me too. Eggs, eggs. Crasher Dasher, eggs, welcome back eggs. for the 32nd month. How are you doing? Are the North 100 showdown openings intentionally getting more unhinged or is it natural progression? It's progression. Thank you for the support, by the way. It's just, uh, are we, we've been doing this for a year, right? And I'll continue adding to this goofiness. Um, there's no way that this is the first one. Yeah, but we've been putting out the show for a year. Holy shit. Uh, I'm keeping this hand. Look, I gotta, I got uh, either I gotta start losing or the other boys on North 100 showdown have to start winning. It's tough because I'd like to, I like to play decks that are actually winning events or that have been requested from people that know what they're talking about. But also I kind of want to play maybe goofier is not even the right word. I kind of want to play some other decks where I'm like, yeah, this, this archetype is kind of neat. Oh, um, I'm going to put this wheel of fortune on the bottom. Maybe I should have gone Island here. Oh, that seems a, little... a few months since I saw dredge on showdown. I don't know what I'm going to play next. Nurse it. Mm. I think I'm taking swords here. Hermit humans actually a deck? No, not really. I mean, it's just taking hermit druid and putting it with a human's package. Ooh. I pitch a card, but they're all so good. Um, Palace Jailer needs a little more work to get to. I'll pitch Palace Jailer. 
It's the only card in here that I can't like cast. Although shocking to nurse it. Like it's not a deck that puts up consistent results, nor is it one that has really been worked on. Um, I think I just want to play the cat car. I know it doesn't use my mana, like it doesn't set up the shouldered, but you know. I feel like getting something on the board. They tr what are you what are you trying to do? Do they they must have like Gristlebrand or something? Like why would you get rid of this Narset? Or do you have a Wheel of Fortune? They must have like Wheel of Fortune in their hand. Like why do you get <laughs> They have yeah, they have to. They're they're playing so aggressively with their spells. This has to be a wheel. I don't know why you would get this aggressive with your cards. Demonic Tutor 4 wheel? Demonic Tutor is pretty scary. This tortured existence isn't really doing anything. Oath of Druids. Hold on. You get rid of my board. Why are you on Oath of Druids tortured existence? This is fucked. I'm just going to play this and pass. Keep up swords. I'm so confused what's going on. Do they have like a quest? Did they think that they, <laughs> they, they logged into Magic Online? They're like, this is Arena, right? I'm very confused as to what's going on. Cause like this seemed like a pretty aggressive. Okay. Children. Crew my children. Or crew my cat car. Attack you with cat car. Play land. Crack memory jar. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what they're doing. So I'm just going to run it back. Yeah, I could bring in Parallax Wave, I guess, but I'll just run it back. Do I have? Well, FTK might be okay. If they're Dredge, it's a little weird. I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. At a loss for what's going on. Uh, Sand's okay. Get to Preordain. Get to uh, all the boots. I don't even think I want to Preordain just yet. Because I don't know what I'm looking for. Kind of want to develop my mana with Proving Ground. Go like Proving Ground into Island into Walla Boots. Feel the rain on your skin. Yeah, they. Played Fire Covenant to clear my board and they DT'd for Oath. If it would have made sense if they were DTing for Wheel of Fortune, because they aggressively traded with my Narset, get it off the board so they can actually start drawing seven. But then none of that happened. They cut down my wall of roots. I mean again, Magic the Gathering is a very hard game to play. It's a uh you know, and cube is for everyone. Cube is for the people. And this Narset is, we have hits. We actually have a pretty reasonable amount of hits, but you know, it's fine. There's a chance that I should have maybe, if I had a draw seven, I would leave it a little healthier. Crucible Worlds, anything to go with that? Nope, okay. 
you going to find me a card here? Nope. Oh, because it's fucking grist. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Next time, Gadget. I'm just going to oddity them. If they oath, I can prismatic ending the oath. Um, if I don't have anything else to do, I'm just going to preordain and see if there is something else to do. There's the green source for the oath. It's a wheel of fortune. This may bite me in the ass, but I'm going to do this. Like if they burn out the nurse in here, then sure. But if they don't, oh, we hit an Atraxa Oath Emrakul. Holy shit. Look what the promised end. What is what? Everybody's on fucking Emrakul. Like, it's not a bad card by any means, but. You no, know, I, I took a risk with this too. Doing that there. I could have maybe, like, snagged more info. Okay, for sure. All right, well, I uh, I don't have any more time. It's really late for me. Uh, so I'm going to call it there. I wanted to make sure... I know my gameplay, my quality of gameplay was not as high as uh, it normally would be or as high as I'm sure people want it to be. Uh, but I did want to get in a home stream, even if it was an evening two and a half hour long stream or whatever. Uh, yeah, I will be streaming again tomorrow for a proper longer stream. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you didn't watch the bonus stream that we did, that Adam and I did earlier today, go watch that. The VOD is on the twitch.tv slash London Ritter Run. It's a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun. And let me drop you kids off somewhere. Oh, is Adam still streaming Dogma? Yeah, I'm streaming Dogma. Let's go watch. Uh, go watch Adam. Go watch Adam because he's streaming video game. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow for more Cube. I don't know. I think it's Cube. I'll see you tomorrow for more magic. Okay, bye. Love you. Have a good one.